Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy Canada's blog, and over the past couple of weeks, I've been testing out the iSmart Gate Light. The iSmart Gate Light is a gate opener that you can use to wirelessly control your gate arm. The gate opener works via your uh, phone or tablet uh, using the iSmart Gate app. So when you unbox the iSmart Gate Lite, you'll want to plug it in while you're in the house. It needs to be near your router to establish an initial connection. And keep in mind that this device needs to connect to the 2.4 uh, gigahertz band. So if you have a Wi-Fi router that has a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz, you'll have to connect strictly to the 2.4. Once you've connected it to your router, you're going to want to take it out to your gate. My gate is about 50 to 75 feet away from my house, and I was really happy to see that with the connection that I established just for the gate, um, I maintained a very strong Wi-Fi connection. I had the GoGo Gate 2 installed, and that gate opener is actually from the same company, so this one is an improvement upon that one. The iSmart Gate Lite also has a very similar install process, so because I'd already gone through the install process when I did my GoGo Gate 2 review, I was already an expert level at installing this gate. It was very easy though. All you have to do is install the wires in the gate opener, and then you connect those wires to your gate arm. It tells you in the instructions in the app and on the website which uh, control or which wires you have to install in which sections of the gate arm. Once those wires are connected, all you have to do is plug it in and let it reboot. You'll see three lights on this device. One light is for Wi-Fi, one light is for power, and the other light indicates that the sensors are nearby. You'll need to put the cover back on your gate arm, turn the power back on, and you are ready to install your sensors. The sensor that comes with the iSmart gate light is waterproof and weather resistant. The hub itself is not waterproof or weather resistant, so I'll show you what I did to protect the hub in a minute, but in the meantime, I placed the sensors close by in much the same way that I placed the sensors in the GoGo Gate 2. Uh, they said in the documentation that they have to be fairly close in order to connect and register. But the problem I had was that the sensors never registered open and close properly, no matter where I placed them. I put them all over the gate arm, starting with close together as per the documentation. I then moved the sensors to opposite ends of the post. So I had one sensor on the actual swinging gate and one sensor on the post, but um, completely on opposite ends. And that still didn't register properly. So then I moved them farther apart and I slowly went farther and farther and farther apart just trying to see what the range could be so that the hub was still picking up the sensors, um, but that the gate would register properly open and closed. Ultimately, what I had to do was add a additional piece of wood to prop up the one sensor just so that it would register uh, with the other sensor. This is when I finally started to get a proper open and closed signal, although it was not consistent. Um, I did think in, in the original like install that it was very similar to GoGo Gate, where GoGo Gate had the cords attached to their hub so that you did have to be very close by but with these you can actually have the freedom to place them a little bit farther away. The only problem is is I found that when logging in it took quite a while to log into the app and then it sometimes still did not register open and close properly. Once I had my gate registering open and close and it was uh, working via the app and on my computer I was ready to test out the smart features. Smart Gate Lite has options for voice control as well as linking to IFTTT for full uh, automation. Here's a demo of what it was like for me to use the iSmart Gate Lite and voice control. Okay, Google, open the gate. And my gate would open. It was especially helpful, I found, to use voice control if I was in bed at night and I was thinking, oh no, I've got to close my gate. Well, I didn't have to get up and do anything. I just said, okay, Google, close my gate.
There's also an IFTTT integration where you can set up applets to control your gate. And the best part of this is that there's geofencing. So if you show up at your gate, it will automatically open because it senses you're in the area. And then you set an area for when you leave and it closes your gate. You can get full app control of your gate using uh, just touch and slide to open and close it. There's also different configurations, so you can have remote access, so you can control your gate from literally anywhere you are, which is really amazing, especially if you want to let somebody in. You can add different users. Uh, you can add this to Apple HomeKit. It actually automatically adds to Apple HomeKit. For uh, stronger connectivity, you can also get an Ethernet plugin so that you can plug it straight into your Ethernet if your gate is close by. You can also add the iSmart Gate camera to this gate. I did try to do that. I installed the 30-day uh, plugin, but I wasn't able to get it to connect properly. I think it actually had something to do with my Wi-Fi. It wouldn't connect to that. But this is a network IP camera. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure why I couldn't get it to work, but I will keep trying. You can access the iSmart Gate on your computer and it also shows up on your Apple Watch if you have an Apple Watch. The only um, other thing with the actual hardware of this device was that the hub itself is not rain resistant like the waterproof sensor there. So you'll have to protect the hub with something. Um, just to test it out, um, I improvised with a rubber bucket, uh, like a Rubbermaid container, and that worked really well in the pouring rain. It was pouring one day and there was not a drop on the device. So you could use something like that or you could actually build a full shell or case around it. I spent a lot of time installing and testing the iSmart Gate Light, and even though I had a hard time with the sensors, it, just because of my type of gate, it's not just the standard kind of gate, it's a 12 foot gate with a swing arm, and it only goes out one way. Um, despite that, I still really like this device. I feel like the smart features make it completely worth it. It wor works for the most part uh, almost all the time. I rarely drop a connection because of the separate Wi-Fi, the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi that I set up for it. And once that I figured out the sensors and I was able to rectify the open and close situation, um, I was able to access IFTTT. And those applets basically automated everything. Now I'm really looking forward to how they update this device. I think that the Wi-Fi connectivity is excellent. It's easy to use and it's one of the least expensive options for having a gate opener. Although it took me a while to work out the kinks, I am really happy with this device. You can see my full written review and other photos of the iSmart Gate Lite on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching.